gave acid workup. So let me see. I have a cyclopentanone. Good. And then I have a double bond OH here. That's awesome. And then it's going to, uh, let me just, again, break this down by step, but step by step. So let me do this. First step here is a C. I don't know. Did I even zoom in? I can't, I don't know what number that is. I think it's a C6H5MBR. Okay. So this is C6H5MGBR. That's good. And then it's a H3O plus, an acid workup. So let me do that first. So again, classic Grignard, Grignard reagent, MGBR. What it's going to do is I have a um, positive charge on the, on the MG. And then I have a negative charge on to this uh this this uh this this carbon here right this carbon here is negatively charged so what it's going to do is going to come it's going to come here attack the uh the positively the dipole positive here and then uh, it's going to kick out kick out this oxygen here we're not kick out but it's going to form some some sort of intermediate here so i don't know if this is a it might be a, a branch i think it's a branch i don't think it's a cyclic um I think it's just a branch of alkenes. Let me just think. This is a C6H5 would be a, it wouldn't be a, it would actually be a hexagon or it can't be a straight cha straight chain alkane because it would be, have to be C6H6 that's being depro depronated. So C6H6 would be, um, would be not neither alkene, alkane, or alkyne. It would be probably a uh, either a benzene, which is a benzene or some sort of cyclic compound here. So let me just uh, let me just look at the answer here. So I I don't have it doesn't have a I don't have um uh it doesn't say what I'm drawing here. So let me just think about this. This would be a, I'm, I'm assuming this is a benzene because C6H6 depronated would be a benzene here. So what I, ha what I would have would be, um, I would have something like this. It would be kind of broken up um, into one, two, three, four, and five. So this, this entire ring is going to get broken up into, um, what I have would be this here is, the first part is my benzene, so I can draw my benzene benzene here and it's going to link and then bond this here is the hydroxyl group here so this is carbon this here is carbon one but the thing is i can't have with the double bond here o here i can't have another chain here right so i can't i can't i can't form another ring here so it actually just splits it up into a um into a uh, a um a straight chain here so this is one two three four and five which means this is carbon one i can draw two three four five and this here would be my answer oh this is the first part actually of my answer two three four and five and when what it's going to undergo it's going to undergo uh i'm going to have it's going to be phosphoric acid so the step two is phosphoric acid h3po4 and heat and then step three is a ozonolysis with uh, hydrogen peroxide. So what it's going to do uh, with um, this here, it's going to uh, create uh, H3PO4 is going to create uh, some sort of um, uh, it's going to create basically a, uh, a an alcohol. It's going to create an alcohol and it's going to create an alcohol on my um, on my uh, on my um, the, the last carbon, the, the, the last carbon of my chain here. So let me just draw this out for you. So I have a benzene here, double bond O, that's not being touched, one, two, three, four, five. So basically it's gonna form an OH like so. It's gonna form an OH uh, using phosphoric acid and, uh, and, and, and heat here. And the reason why it's doing, the, doing this is actually, an, it's an anti-Markovnikov here. An H, H3POH is a, it's phosphoric acid, so it's a slightly weak acid. And let me just, um, let me just uh, look up for you phosphoric acid uh, creating alcohol. Let me just 
uh, kind of figure this out for you. So again, what it's going to do is because it's under heat as well. So what it's going to do is going to create a, an alkene. Firstly, it's going to create an alkene somewhere. And like I and I guess for this student because they, they answered the OH here, the alkene would have been created um, in the least substituted bond here. This is the least substituted bond here. And H3POH would then go anti-Markovnikov, and then it would add an OH group uh, to the least uh, least um, least substituted uh least substituted alkene here so this here would be uh would be would be would be would be kind of what what we would do to form our oh group here so basically um and it, it, it hints here anti-markovnikov right i have hydrogen peroxide here so this here um i have uh so that i get i get an alkene first by uh, through elimination and then this here o bond is going to make an OH group like so, because again I have uh it's an it's an anti carbon with the hydrogen peroxide, and then with ozonolysis, I misspelled that I'm pretty sure ozonolysis, it's going to create a uh, a carboxylic acid. It's basically another um another mechanism for for you to uh to create uh to basically oxidize the alcohol here. So this here is my solution here. Hold on, oh one two three four five and then i have another o bond oh and this here is my solution which is exactly the same as what they got here but i just don't like how they didn't provide a step-by-step -step solution um the ozonolysis here is actually a pretty complex mechanism as well as uh the uh, phosphoric acid here they didn't really show the two steps where i make the elimination with the least substitute alkene here or the um uh lisa and then also the anti markovnikov um addition of the oh group onto the least substituted carbon so uh, I'm going to say a uh, good solution, or I say correct solution, but no explanation provided. Um, I'm, say, I'm going to say that they do, they did a, the, the benzene or the Grignard activated, activated benzene uh, breaks up the, cyc the, the, this is the, the cyclic Sick. The cyclic uh, hydrocarbon. The cyclic hydrocarbon, the phosphoric acid, and heat creates an anti Markovnikov addition. Or hydroxyl OH addition to the last carbon. Finally, oath, uh, ozonolysis. Oh, not ozonolysis. Finally, oxidation by ozone through ozone through O3 creates the carboxylic acid at the end of or creates carboxylic acid at the terminal carbon. So actually, this is actually not an ozonolysis. Sorry, I, I I got my terminology mixed up. This here is actually oxidation. This here is the oxidation using ozone. Ozonolysis would actually break up my uh, break up my um, break up my uh, my 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 bonds here. So this here is not correct. Uh, that's a, my my, uh, my 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 thing. My sorry, my my uh, the solution here is correct, except uh, the. Um, my uh, what I wrote here was wrong. This is not no, no, all the analysis here. So let me let me just uh, let me just figure out O's analysis. It's O3 and hydrogen peroxide. Peroxide. Let me just find this for you. Yeah, it's just an oxidation reaction here. So it's not an O's analysis, but it's, it's an advanced oxidation. So it, you enhance basically the hydroxyl radicals here. So this here solution is correct. Thank you.